welcome to Learn and Play with Gilcrease Museum. My name is Angie. I'm so glad you're here today. Today we'll be exploring some artwork from the Gilcrease collection by the artist William Merritt Chase. We'll also be talking about beaches, beach vacations, and some of the animals you might find at the beach. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to make your very own sand that you can play with at home. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the painting, Shell Beach at Shinnecock by artist William Merritt Chase. William Merritt Chase famously painted people, the insides of buildings and homes, still life objects, and landscapes. He was one of the most important American art teachers of all time. He taught art students at the League of New York and he formed the Chase School of Arts in 1896. This beach, located at Shinnecock, is an example of Chase's landscape paintings. This beach is located on the northeast side of Long Island, New York. Today, the area is called Shinnecock Hills and Shinnecock Bay. Let's look closely at the shell beach at Shinnecock. What do you see in this painting? What do you think is happening? To me, it looks like there's a family enjoying a beach vacation. It looks like a mother and her children. It looks like they're building a sand castle. A sand castle is something that can be formed by molding wet sand. What do you think will happen next? I think the children might take their seashells and decorate that sand castle. What do you think? What makes you say that? Right, I see the blue water in the ocean and the sandy beach. I see a woman and her children huddled in the distance. The two children are looking at seashells. I also see an orange pail for collecting the shells. And I see an ocean animal. Do you know what animal this is? It's called a horseshoe crab. Have you ever seen one? Horseshoe crabs are special and unique. They are known as living fossils. Horseshoe crabs have been around for over 445 million years. They even existed before dinosaurs. Even though they're called crabs, horseshoe crabs aren't really a crab because they're not a crustacean. They're more closely related to scorpions or spiders than crabs. Horseshoe crabs feed and swim in shallow coastal waters on sandy beaches, and they come up onto the beach to lay their eggs. They may look scary, but horseshoe crabs are harmless. Its pointy tail is only used to steer them and flip them over if they end up on their backs. Horseshoe crabs lay their eggs in early spring to summer, so it's important to always keep an eye out for animals like the horseshoe crab when we're at the beach building our sand castles. Do you wanna play in the sandy beach sand at your own home? Well, I'm gonna show you this art activity where we can make our very own colorful sand right at home. Let's get started. The ingredients you'll need for this project is Epsom salt, large Ziploc bags, and food coloring. The first step is to take one cup of Epsom salt per color and put it into one of your Ziploc bags. You will have one Ziploc bag and one cup of Epsom salt per color of sand that you want to create. Next, you'll take your food coloring and put a few droplets into each bag of each individual color that you want. Maybe six to 10 droplets would be good. The next step is to use your hands to mold and squish that sand until all the color is gone all throughout the sand. It'll start to color the sand as you squeeze and squish. And once it's all one color, then you know it's done. Finally, you're gonna leave the bags open and set them out so they can dry. If you don't dry the sand before you play, you might get a little bit of color on your hands. So make sure it's completely dry before playtime. The last step is to play. Once your sand is completely dry, you can pour it into a bin or a basin and then mix and play with your hands. You can use a shovel and dig toys out of the sand. You can bury some seashells and search for your own shells. 
or you can add a tiny bit of water to your sand and make it moldable to make your very own sand castles at home. Remember, if you want your colors to stay separate, you'll have to use a separate bin for each color. Otherwise, just mix it all and have a crazy colorful fun time. I hope you all have lots of fun playing with your sand at home. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We'll see you next time. Bye.